continue with some training it is a virtual background so um i thought it's the hong kong office it's the the r d office in hong kong i will be in hong kong later on in the year so keep following us and that so this is actually a training um video um so i won't bore you too much about what's going on um but i'm going to talk about commissioning commissioning of a system because it seems to be some problems people ring me up and the installer system is it right what do we do next so very simple and very simple thing i'm going to put a brochure in or a booklet it's a 50 page document and it's it's basically a companion it gives you the commissioning procedure gives you points of contact if you need help it gives you things about batteries ct coil programming dongles all of that everything all rolled into one so i'll put this attached to the video so hopefully if you need it download it or if you want to contact um nikki or sheena um and they'll they can email it to you not a problem so first thing is if you're installing your new system as the engineer um, and, and if you've got multiple batteries, please make sure the batteries are talking to each other, whatever batteries you're using. So if you're using Solar MD, if you're using Pylantech, um, if you're using um, our batteries, um, Freedom One, whatever battery you're using, please, if there are multiple batteries, please make sure the batteries are talking to each other. That's very important. And it might require set, setting dip switches and various things. And there's no alarm system. So the very first thing is multiple batteries, make sure the batteries work to each other. That's, that's quite important. Just do that right at the beginning. Otherwise, if you don't do it, you're gonna get yourself into problems. The next thing is, is connect the batteries to the inverter. Um, and I presume you'd already done that when you're talking to each other, connect the batteries to the inverter, switch on the isolators, power on the, power on the batteries. Um, the next thing is, is make sure the batteries are talking to the inverter. The inverter will take a while to boot up, it'll boot up. Um, and if you go on the cog icon on the corner and the bottom right hand icon, and you can check the status of the BMS, it's communicating. Make sure your BMS cables are the right way around. Um, is, one is marked BMS and the other, one, the other one is marked for the inverter. So please make sure it's the right way around, otherwise it mightn't work. Um, you make sure you've also set your back, your inverter. If it's on canvas, then you just select canvas. And it's a very simple select lithium battery canvas on the battery setting. Simple as that. So you power it up from the batteries. Check you've got communication. Um, the on the lithium on the battery communication. If it just shows you a load of lines of text, you haven't got communication, you've got a problem with your, with, your, with your communication to your batteries and therefore stop, you need to fix this problem. Don't continue, just go through each stage at a stage to make sure, because if you do this, you do it the right way, then you're not gonna have any problems. If you don't do it the right way, then you could end up with a lot of problems. So check that you've got communication. Once you know all the communication, everything's functioning and, and you know all, all, all is good, and you've got the communication with lithium battery, wait for the, a short while and the normal light will light up on the inverter. If you've got parallel inverter, you've got a number of three inverters, four, five, six inverters, wait until all the normal light comes up. Um, when the normal light comes up, you know it's running. One minor thing, please make sure you switch the inverter on and press the little button. We have a lot of people don't forget to send the inverter on. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm sort of jumping a little bit, but please make sure the inverter switched on and then you wait for the normal light to come on. Normal light comes on means the battery is now communicating to the inverter and the batteries are talking to each other because there's no alarms or bleeps and bings going off. Um, everything is functioning perfectly. You're really, really in a good position then uh, to continue with the commis commissioning. I think I just go on about the, some people trying, especially on parallel, they put the AC on first. Please don't do that. You're going to cause yourself too many troubles. You want to go slowly, slowly, check it slowly, check it carefully. And the safest way is run the inverter on the batteries. Next thing is, bing, you can switch on your solar array. You presume it's all being connected. You just you turn on the SA at the side and you can turn on your safety switches and everything else and your solar array. And then you can see the solar is now connected to the inverter providing it's not nighttime when you're doing it, it should charge the batteries and you'll see the or, or supply, you'll, you'll supply the load, but it'll be basically charging the batteries. And you'll see the you see the power coming in. Now at this point, because there's no AC, um, you can't supply the load if you're connected to non-essential to non-essentials. But if you're using it as a UPS, then obviously the load output will give you an output, but the other one will not because it's in islanding mode. There's no AC and you're totally in islanding mode. So nothing will happen, but you, you solar will be charging the batteries. At this point, it gives you a little bit of time to check all your settings, make sure your battery charge settings are correct. 
Make sure your AC settings, your upper and your lower are correct. Make sure your frequency settings are correct. Make sure you, your battery charge limits are correct. Everything is all good. I'll give you a chance. If you're familiar with the product, you may choose to set up the controller at this point and you have a little bit of time. Check everything. Don't rush. Um, it's quite a nice feeling because you're seeing that the solar's working, the batteries are working. It's all good. Um, I, I would just wait, uh, make sure there's no alarm, nothing going to go. You can just give it five or ten minutes. And it's just a, it's just a nice time. You think it's great. Then go on, switch the AC or put your breakers on. The AC LED will come on and it will take a couple of minutes. Um, it's a minimum of 60 seconds. It could take longer. And the AC will then switch on and the AC will be supplying the, the essential load. And you'll see the AC coming into the inverter. You'll see a click and it will come, it will then connect. Once your AC is on, check your CT coil is working. Um, if you simply, if you, if you go onto the um, dial, you click onto here, on there, you will see a matrix. You'll see the CT coil figures there, and it will show you the load of the building. Um, if you don't see it, nothing there, nothing showing when it says CT, then your CT is not connected. If that's a, a minus figure, then your CT is backwards. So check your CT coil is working. Um, that's very important. So the most important things to do with the inverter is your CT coil, um, your batteries. Um, these are the basic things. These are things that people fall down on. Um, and they often say, oh, but the thing's not paralleling. It's got a paralleling fault. Paralleling, especially if you've got paralysis, it will always drop out. If something's wrong with your AC, something's wrong with your BMS, something's wrong anywhere, it will always drop out the paralleling. That's, that's normal. Um, and, and I'm presuming that you've installed it all correctly um, and you've got the right right length uh, cables, battery cables. Everything is good. So I presume everything. Check your settings at this point. Double check your settings. Check your battery charge setting. You obviously need to know what you want the system to do. Now, at this point, when you know it's all working, you can now commission your um, data logger. So somebody actually gave me a good idea the other day. And they said, well, why don't you just using um, on the data logger? because part of, the, part of the thing when you're doing the data log is you've got to get it to the internet. Uh, so somebody made a good suggestion. If you're using a um, parallel cable to a USB and you can pl plug it in and you can set your data logger, you can set your data logger, you can do, do sitting down having a cup of coffee. You don't have to be at the inverter. The inverter may be in the loft or somewhere out of the way. So you can set it to the internet and you know it's all set. And when you plug it straight into the inverter, you know it's going to work. So it's quite a nice, simple way to do things. And you, you don't have to be close up to the inverter. You can plug the data logger in. And of course, you can change all the settings remotely because our, our system, the SunSync um, data logger, and the app and the computer and all the other stuff, you can totally program your inverter. And oh, and we've now got one button programming. So you can save a file. When you program an inverter, you can save the file and then you can upload the file to another inverter. So you don't have to go through every setting. That's now available on the um, on the, the PC version, the web version, the web client version of the of the unit. So that's that's now work up and working. So we'll do a little bit more of a video about doing that. I'm going to get Joel to do that. So um, this should be good. Right, that's sort of <laughs> it's a mouthful. Um, uh, we are traveling tomorrow. I'm going to Holland um, and we're going to be doing a system, which is a single phase. You've probably seen that called the, the house of the future. So it's a single phase or three phase system with batteries. And we'll do the whole thing. We'll cover the whole thing, the installation, and we'll do the whole thing in video. Um, hopefully it runs smoothly. Maybe we'll get some bugs. I don't know. Uh, let's just see how it goes. And afterwards, um, we can see the house being run. It's quite interesting because uh, we've got two little things. Initially, we're going to run the house. We've got a tiny supply. We've got a 15 amp supply and we've got a power hungry um, heat pump. Um, so we've got to trickle charge the batteries off the little supply and the three phase will supply the heat pump, much higher current. And we've got um, they've got four batteries up um, on the wall. So it's going to be quite interesting. So um, follow us. And I, I, I keep promising to do more and more training. And um, if you have any questions, by the way, anything you think I should cover, please contact us, give, give Sheena or Nikki a call and say, can I cover these questions? And I'll cover these. I'll do a questions and answers. I'd, I'd like to have a list of the questions that people want and please send them to us. So I'll send them across to Nikki, give her a call um, and we, we will do our best to answer them. So thanks for watching and keep in touch. Thanks. Bye-bye.